do, and I, I think that's really important, is, you know, we can take care of a person as they grow through the course of their lifetime with respect to their business or their personal needs, which taught, which is in essence what Jim just said. But I think we also have expertise levels that match us to large firms that you can get in a small firm for that more intimate environment. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. All right, very good. <coughs> All right, let's talk a little bit. Let's go through actually. Um, your primary target audiences. If you guys were gonna break these audiences into particular groups, uh, it may be in this, we may do both. So we may focus on industries first, and secondly, focus on whether it's individuals or commercial, or um, if you have particular individuals within companies, such as procurement departments or whatnot, talk to me a little bit about who your customer is as far as the audience goes. Yeah, I, I, this is Josh. I think it would be worthwhile to have each one of us maybe tell you what that target is to us. If, if I mean, if you think that's productive, absolutely. Well, Josh, why don't you go? Why don't you go first to describe your practice? Well, I would just say that my my primary target would be family law clients, and it, it's full service family law, divorce, custody, child support, uh, you know, anything that would encompass domestic relations. Um, you know, the, the main problem that, that we have that we want to try to fix and that I think all family lawyers have uh, is that you want clients who can pay their monthly bills. You know, family clients historically are horrible payers. And so I would like to develop a profile of, you know, that, that's an income profile better than what we have now still based on, uh, you know, as much uh, referral business as we can um, that, you know, maybe targets a little uh, higher income, a little more sophisticated client who understands and appreciates, frankly, the need for timely payments. Okay, perfect. You know, I do, I do, uh, I have a civil practice as well, civil litigation, and, you know, to the extent that more of that can come in, certainly I'm happy to do that too, but if we're talking about sort of what I would like to, to specialize and, and focus on, it would be more of the family law and more of a, a higher end, you know, family law client, um, you know, that we can, that we can expand our practice with. Okay. Shelly, go ahead. Uh, Jennifer and Shelly, I think for me, my target audience is going to be. Oh, I'm sorry, real quick. Is this who is talking, Shelly? Yeah, it's Shelly, the one with the raspy voice. Gotcha. Um, my target audience is going to be uh, appellate work, and I'll, I'll kind of broad brush it first, and I'll come back with details. Uh, arbitration work, either as counsel or as an arbitrator and then uh, estate planning and probate, which is geared towards individuals and also folks, if in essence, elder care, where you're looking at not just the estate planning, but you're carrying that client through a probate proceeding when someone passes away, all the pre-planning, and then uh, also guardianships. Uh, if you have an elder parent who is not quite with it, how do you handle a guardianship? And as the populace ages, this is elder care and elder law is just growing like nobody's business. So I would say those are my target markets. Um, from a more detailed standpoint, I've argued a case before the Texas Supreme Court, took it up to the Texas Supreme Court, of course, with the law firm's help. Uh, I've been in the United States Supreme Court. I've been in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Um, I've also, uh, I'm, I'm getting a, a special, I have an arbitrator designation right now, but I'm shooting for another one um, that's going to put me 
uh, among about 450 people in the country that have that designation. Um, so that's those are my target markets. Okay. And that that helps you. So on the target audience, seniors and their children, um, talk to me a little bit about who your big referral sources are. So if you're primarily targeting seniors and, and uh, the decision makers or major influencers within their life, does that also include, um, are you getting referrals from uh, home care or uh, different kind of housing or medical units or so forth? No, it's mostly all word of mouth right now. Okay. It's also from, uh, it's usually from financial advisors and or those types of folks as well. Okay. Let's so, let's so big referral sources and Josh, let's make sure and get this for you. Big referral sources for you, Shelly, are going to be financial advisors. Who else? Financial advisors and existing clients and their families. And I'm also starting to speak and write more, and I, see, I tend to be getting clients from that as well. Okay, that's a whole nother conversation. You just entered my world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I totally spaced out. Um, also, I do <clears throat> a lot of LGBT law work. Okay. Um, and I get a ton of referrals through the organizations that I'm involved in. One is the, I'm the chair of the uh, LGBT law section for the State Bar of Texas, so that includes the entirety of the state. Mm -hmm. I'm also the president of the Dallas Gay and Lesbian Bar Association, uh, so that's geared towards Dallas, but I'm, I've got a large referral for uh, estate planning and probate issues on that particular issue or those types of issues when you have gay clients because I'm involved in all those organizations they tend to want to have a lawyer who understands what their needs are okay now right now you guys don't have anything focused on um, LGBT or GLBT tell me a little bit about what your thoughts are and how you want this position throughout the site I think we've here before not really talked about it a lot because I think there's been some concern with some of our existing clients that that might they might that might be a, a something they like and so I'm I think Josh is also starting to work with uh, LGBT clients and I think Jim is is good with it he's shaking his head he's good so okay. I guess I would defer to you. Jim, this is Josh. I, my position on that is, is absolutely, I, I think that we are willing and should be uh, supporting Shelly. Uh, but we have some clients, I think she's right, who might be sensitive to that issue. So, you know, I don't know that we want to have a rainbow flag as our banner on our website, but I don't think that I've got any trepidation at all, nor do any of the rest of us, about, um, you know, making mention of it on the site and, you know, and making making it known that we're a resource to that community. All right. So we've got a few different strategies here. Um, the phrase LGBT, we can absolutely go after that um, particular group and they're here. You are beyond right as far as that being a perfect audience. Um, oh, sorry. You guys to be able to go after it. You cut out a little bit. Um, I was saying that you guys are 100% right as far as that being an extremely profitable and um, I was a perfect target market for you guys to go after. There's a few different ways to do that. So, um, and we're kind of just, um, you notice I'm, I'm creating multiple cells here. We're bouncing around. Uh, from who your target audience is to the service areas that are within that target audience to specialties and um, uh, expertise that each of you bring to the table. And so in a, in a web environment, we're going to definitely want to uh, completely segregate each one of those individual things. From a search engine standpoint, they're all very, very different. If we're, um, if we're looking for a senior's 
a law advisor or a senior's attorney or a senior's probate attorney. It's a mixture of a service area combined with the target audience. And then you may also include um, something that we would consider an attribute and an attribute would be LGBT. So one, you have your individual profiles that you have the ability to, to um, uh, mention that content in. That's more of a credibility statement and a brand building statement than it is a search engine uh, value. You also have practice areas that um, we could put in here, LGBT law, and that would give you a little bit of a search engine drag as far as that particular phrase. You also have the ability to leverage social media and create a specific social media platform that's tied to a specific category within your blog and become a content publisher. Now, Shelly, for you, if you are speaking and you are generating content on a regular basis, that may be uh, the best way for you to do that is to actually create a Facebook page that is um, has a permalink structure, which is everything after the forward slash, that is um, focused specifically on GLBT or LGBT in your case. Um, and you can get a lot of search engine value from that. And then for your website, what you would be doing is you would be generating content that posts to a specific category and that category, our team would be posting out to that specific fan page. So that's, that's something to consider as well if you are on your own social media plan. I would absolutely uh, leverage Facebook in particularly for that search phrase. Okay. Great. And then I, I think the arbitration niche that I have is geared more towards businesses. And other lawyers. And other lawyers, that's correct. Okay. That's All right. <laughs> We're going to move here. And those lawyers are, are uh, specializing in which areas? <laughs> Pretty much, uh, I would say commercial litigation. When they have a, a, a client who's involved in a contract that has an arbitration clause, and if they need a lawyer who understands arbitration, because not that many lawyers understand it, and it is its whole own area of law. And so Rick, one of our other law partners, and Jim and I get referrals because we have experience in arbitration. Other lawyers hire us to help them with their clients, their business clients who are involved in arbitrations to advise them, to counsel them. And then J Richard and I are both arbitrators. We've gone through a certain type of training. An arbitrator is like a judge, and they hear a matter and then rule on it, hear a dispute and rule on it. <laughs> okay, perfect. I'm going to... Okay, perfect. All right. Um, so, Shelly, I'm just, just some notes on the side. I think that you would definitely benefit from your own individual um, Facebook profile that stood out from the primary site. Um, you're more than welcome to bring the brand into it in a, um, you know, kind of in the background. So if you were branding a Facebook profile in the header image, you may have it in the lower right hand corner, but the primary focus is uh, on that community and what their needs are and what the things they're going to be looking for. Um, and that's really going to get you the best, the best conversion rates on that as well. From a, a search engine optimization standpoint, Facebook now has one of the highest SEO um, valued platforms you could imagine outside of a traditional blog or a website, but it allows you to focus on a particular area instead of jumbling. So in your guys, in your, within your practice or practice areas, the benefit is that you provide a wide variety of practice areas that can take someone, you know, from, through their life. The drawback is, is from a search engine optimization standpoint, um, we're diluting our efforts a little bit across so many different platforms. So if we can pull any additional things out and make them individual uh, pages on 
Facebook and leverage an individual blog category with content that's geared towards that, we're going to get better results than just simply continuing to drill this practice areas uh, down, you know, further than it already is. Does that make sense? It does, and that sounds like maybe a good way to not to not offend any of our current clients who might have a problem with that because it, it's like you said separate. So that sounds good. You know, I, I just just being very very upfront. I might have a very mixed family, so I do that in my own world. Um, I have a Facebook profile that looks one way, and I have my own personal profile that looks another way, and it, it accomplishes both goals. What I don't want to be is a referee where. When I walk out to do business, 50% of the audience doesn't like me for whatever reason they have. Right, right, absolutely. We can't imagine that, Jen. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Please trust me. Uh, sir. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Let's. Um, who's next? Uh, this is Jim Bloom. I'm next. Um, um and. I've got a couple of things you'll notice in the existing site. By the way, my last name is B-L-U-M-E. Um, it's, it's not like the cartoon that we all remember. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, first, the first thing is uh, we represent automobile dealerships. And, in, in fact, there's a whole separate industry for that. And, and I've represented them over 30 years. And so we, I have a long history of that. Um, so that's one thing. Second of all, uh, I we do business law, and I have a number of business clients that we handle either litigation or uh, we'll do transactions for them, which is either contracts or restructuring, uh, making making sure that their legal structure is the way they wanted it. So that's another aspect of things, uh, and I have a a wide variety of clients in that category and there's some are professional clients uh so we've I've got several inter, uh, inter, uh computer clients who who do who do technical things uh and then uh, a third character uh, third variety which is completely different is we represent a large number of religious organizations there are two church denominations that we represent regionally, and then we also have done religious work for a whole variety of others, including Islamic mosques. Uh, we represented a, a whole range of religious organizations, uh, and we continue to do that. Uh, yeah, church law is a good thing there, uh, because it, what happens in that is that religions, denominations have their own internal rules, which cannot be affected by courts because it's beyond the First Amendment. So uh, you have to know something about how the church works internally. And let me digress a little bit and say that the other project that we we asked you to do is uh, this website for this new service that we're starting called Ecumenical Mediation Service, and that's related to this practice. We are we are intending to have mediation for ministers only. Uh, and we think there's a strong need for that, and uh, the, the and we can talk about that website when you get to it. But but the point is that's related to this religious organization practice that we've had, um, and, and we've represented churches not only in litigation but also in internal matters involving their own church law, uh, our disputes and revolving eth uh, ethical issues involving ministers and so on. So that that those are the kinds of things that we do, um, and then I've also I just also do you'll love this I do a appellate law like Shelley, uh, so that's another category, and then I also do state tax law. Uh, once upon a time, I worked for the state controller's office, and I'm I'm one of the few published authors on certain aspects of the. Uh, uh, sales tax and the franchise tax and some other obscure taxes, but we still I still do work involving the state controller in terms of audits or co companies that have the tax disputes. Um, so that that that's what's involved in that. And then sort of a last but not least is I have a small but 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 interesting practice in legal ethics. 
Uh, and where that goes is uh, I am a member and have been for over 20 years of mm -hmm. the State Unauthorized Practice of Law Committee. And we are, it's an arm of the Supreme Court that uh, polices uh, people who think they're lawyers, but they're really not. And so you've got unauthorized practice law. And then I also have represented the State Bar Grievance Committee <coughs> on disbarment cases and have prosecuted those. So um, that's a, as I said, it's a small but interesting part of the practice. So that covers most of what I do. I think, Jennifer, let me interject for a second. It's also important to know that um, all of us are certified mediators, meaning Josh. All four of us. All four of Josh, Jim, myself, and then Richard. Why that's important is be, in part because we have the broad practice areas. That means that we can mediate almost any type of case that there might be out there, whereas uh, other mediators on average typically focus on, say, for example, family law or car wrecks. Right, car wrecks or those types of things, whereas when you look at us, you can hit us with a commercial business dispute between businesses, a family law dispute, a probate dispute, a, a church dispute, any of those. Yeah, legal fee disputes. Yeah. And Jim also just said legal fee disputes, and those are usually pretty nasty. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let me, um, give me just one second. Let me get organized for just one second. So under our target audiences, we have auto dealers. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, business owners, religious organization and churches. Appellate law, do you have a specific, a specific um, target area that you would? The, well, the target audience of that is gonna be other lawyers. Other lawyers, uh, okay. That, that and, and that bottom category, legal ethics, those two categories are primarily of interest to other lawyers. All right, perfect. Um, well, that's true, but, but it's going to be, you, you, we're, we're going to get hired by people who need an appellate lawyer. Right. Okay. Okay, so just, um, I've got lots of notes here. Hang on just a second. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, so Josh, primarily focused on families. We want to um, be able to target a um, I want rich and bitter divorcees. I, you know what? I absolutely was trying to come up with a politically correct way to say that, and I had a couple things in mind, and none of them was in the um, proper to say on a conference call that's being recorded. <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't tell us it was being recorded. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just have to make sure I don't miss anything. <laughs> we'll razz in you. Now that it's recorded, can I get the dirt? <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. So, Josh, families, I totally feel you. We want to look for a specific clientele. I'm with you on that. Shelly, seniors, their children, um, elder care, I'm guessing other, other. Uh, I'm going to remove elder care law because that's going to be in a service. So, this is actually not elder care. It should be long-term care. Now, the reason I say this a lot of times what happens, especially when you're in a, a position where the majority of your business is referral business, it, 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 um, it's referral business because you're not necessarily doing the things to get you business that you could get from generic search or from traditional search. So it doesn't mean that we can't get this kind of business. My guess is there's probably resource agents and I've got a, a lot of medical clients. So I've got individuals I can call that work with long-term 
uh, care professionals on a regular basis, I will do my due diligence and find out from them, um, do they have advocates that are working internally that would be um, looking for your kind of service? Great. Thank, thank you. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, that's an area that that's what I need to do. I just, you know, I'm, I'm working. Yeah, it may be it may be worth it, Shelly. I have another client that's just getting started at the same time with you, and his entire uh, business is focused on long term care. Um, he sells medical supplies to long term care um, companies as well as in home care companies, but primarily the larger groups and organizations. It might be worth you guys getting on the phone and just having a quick brainstorming session and seeing if you can. Um, exchange some referrals and contacts as well as get an idea of the marketplace of what they're doing right now. That sounds great. Um, that sounds great. Yeah. Definitely follow up with me on that. Okay, perfect. Um, so, Shelly, my lady, for you, Mike is going to get you, he's going to make that introduction for you so you guys can start talking. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. Um, commercial little loop. Okay. So these, I'm going to call these referral sources. And then of course, existing clients and their families, I would put that on everybody's. Okay. And then Jim, for you, I have, so we're only talking about target audiences, auto dealers, business owners, religious organizations and churches, other lawyers, as well as businesses. Um, and I should say corporations because I have business owners already. Who did I miss? I think lawyers for Jim. Yeah, you need lawyers. Okay. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, service areas. So we're breaking these down. Um, do we have to? We've got one more partner. His name is Richard Faulkner. Okay. And I'm gonna let I'll let Jim talk about him. Well, he he's a little bit different than the rest of us in that. As you look at his profile, he is not a, a lawyer licensed in Texas. He's a Louisiana lawyer, and he is primarily an expert on arbitration. Uh, and so his clients are going to be these are going to be other lawyers. Um, his, his, in fact, almost all the business he generates is from other lawyers, and in the area of arbitration, is his primarily function. Um, and then also we do, it, he, uh, he's also doing work on, uh, auto dealers for me. So put that down for him too. Okay. Then, so that, those are his areas. Those are all the other things he does. <laughs> all right. All right. Perfect. All right, very good. So our target audience is, I'm gonna do a summary next, and I wanna break this down into, mm. I don't wanna break this down by individual uh, lawyer. I wanna put this in buckets. So let's see if we can do this together. So I'm gonna have individuals and families, and don't mind my typing slower than my brain works. Um, next I'm going to have businesses and commercial, legal, legal and big one, financial professionals. That's my breakdown. What do I miss? I think it sounds. I think it sounds accurate. What?
Yeah, me too. Do you agree? Yeah, it looks fine. All right, I like that. Not too overwhelming. Six categories, I can break that down. Okay. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's do the same thing um, for service areas. Let me just move, I'm gonna move these down because I wanna see them on the same page. All right, so for service areas. We watch domestic child education. Arbitration. Okay. Um, help me again under under Richard's section. I want to get rid of these three because we've got them up top as primary service or uh, uh, target audiences. If I was going to describe very specifically what are the practice areas slash services, tell me about what these would fall under for Richard. Uh, arbitration, uh, mediation, um, that's about it. That's, that's his main thing. All right. He also does a little, he does a too. Okay. We need to, um, we need to come up with the same buckets for service areas. So let me take a stab at it and then tell me where I messed up. Anything I miss, B, anything I need to um, add and or merge? I would add a state planning. Okay. And probate. Okay. And I think you can, yeah, I think that's fine. Well, it shouldn't be. Kelly. Yes. Is there a difference? I've always known, I'm from Seattle, so maybe it's where I'm located, but I've always said GLBT versus LGBT. I actually sound, feel like I'm wearing my watch on the wrong side of my wrist saying LGBT. Is there a difference? The, the new moniker, you're right, it used to be GLBT, but the new moniker in the last couple of years is now LGBT. Ladies win. So All right, Putting the women first. Ladies win. I'm in. I like that. All right. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, what do we got? Let me think of this. So we have 11. Ugh. Uh, how do you divide that? Um, I need one more. The civil. You wanted to put if you wanted to put the estate planning and probate together, you could, and that way you put us down to 10. Okay. Down to 10. So you will have, from a search engine optimization stand, this is our SEO plan. From a home page of the website, I need to make sure the second somebody gets to the home that they can quickly figure out either what makes sense to them as far as who they are or what makes sense to them as far as what they need. And that's where these are really um, broken down from. Okay. Okay. 
okay? All right, good stuff. But I, all right, so I have a section down here called Individual Profiles for Attorneys. Um, I want to show you what I need from each one of you. Hey, Pat, this is Josh. Will you just make some notes for me so that I know what to get for them when I get back? I'll make some notes. She just ran out to go give uh, get Jim something to drink, but she's oh, okay. been taking Perfect. notes. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So the first thing I'm going to need is um, each one of you currently has an About Us profile. My guess is you have things you want to add, omit, or um, include that are not currently on your profiles. So what I need you to do is when you get your Basecamp login from here, um, as soon as you get into Basecamp, this is your project management system simply for the design and development from, for your website. When you get here, I want you to go to write boards and I want you to each create a write board for yourself. Jennifer, you're, you're on our end, you're cutting out and I, I apologize for interrupting you, but we um, kind of caught part of that, but not all of it. Is that any better? That's better. I'll, we heard when you when you log into Basecamp and then okay. it, you cut out a bunch of times. Okay, so when you log into Basecamp, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Write Boards, and I'm going to have you each create your own profile, which is, now, now I'll tell you this, so for example, I went to Write Boards, I said add new Write Boards, and I pasted the exact same title from your current site. If you are 100% okay with the current content you have on your page, then just um, copy a link to that particular page. You can paste it right here and say um, use as is. But if you want to highlight, you guys each talked about things that I think are very valid and important uh, elements to being able to gain credibility and showcase who you are, your experience, and things you participated in. If you have additional things, I want you to recreate those profiles as individual right boards on here. So again, two options. Option number one is you go to the right boards inside Basecamp and you uh, just paste the link to your particular page and say approved as is. And option number two is you copy this over so I can simply grab the content from this particular page. I can go over to write boards, I can paste all that content, and I want you to make all of your modifications, edits, and or omissions on here. Okay. All right. If you have personal contact information, um, if you have your own personal social media accounts that you want to include on that page, then you can include those links on this as well. So each one of you is going to have an individual profile. And these are all on the whiteboard, you said? Yes, sir. Okay. Josh, we're taking good notes for you. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. It's just kind of difficult because I don't have it to look at. So I'm trying to make sure I'm, I'm listening closely. I'm going to have, we're going to have good notes for you and we're going to have a video. Hey! Wait! That's how we roll. <laughs> and I'm going to call and bug you if I have any questions. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, awesome. So you guys will each do your own right boards. That is perfect. So I'm going to leave this individuals for um, individual profiles. I'm just going to, um, I'll keep a copy of this, but I'm going to say see right boards for my design team. All right, let's move into the header area. So just so we're all on the same page, websites are built into wireframes that are all the same. So when you go to, well, they should they should have some similar elements. So we're not gonna compare what you currently have. Um, let me go pull a couple designs real quick so we can get an idea. Okay. So inside a, a design, I'm going to pull this custom to design pages and I'm going to go, I'm just going to grab any design. So over here we have Barbara Gilbert interiors, a little different than your business. However, the elements are all the same. So you have header area. The header area is going to be this section here. Then should come navigation, which is your primary navigation. That's right here. Next will be a uh, slider 
which is here. This section down here is called the body or home page elements. If you're on an interior page, it's called the body. If you're on the home page, these are all home page elements. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you end a website with what's called a footer. If you're in an interior page, you may also have a sidebar, but we won't, we won't go into that yet. Our goal of this is to get you guys a brand new, extremely well-designed home page. That's step one. And we're going to take these in phases. We're going to get approval on one phase, move to the next phase, approval on the next one, move to the next one as quickly as we can, um, but also effectively as we can as well. So we won't compromise quality for time, but I also do not want this to take a lot of time. We good? Yes. All right. Okay, so first thing, we're going to go through three sections of a home page. We are going to have um, on the header element, which is this very top section. Technically, it should be above the navigation. We're going to have left, center, right. On the left-hand side, we will have your logo. Uh, and tagline. Now your tagline you want to keep as uh, as is the council you keep. Yes, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we're going to move that directly below the logo. That way we don't take up too much um, space. The next uh, center area. I want to use um, the center area for a call to action and also I need to know about location. So from a licensing standpoint, should we be calling out that you're able to service or um, uh, work in particular areas, servicing such and such Texas, Louisiana, and what does that look like? And do we need to call that out the second somebody gets here? Because I don't, I, what I don't want to do is I don't want somebody to wind up on your website because a great SEO realize that you're not able to assist them and bounce off that page quickly. I need them to, or, or worst case scenario is that they actually have to do a ton of research to figure out they're on the wrong website. So um, as far as servicing areas where you guys are licensed to practice, talk to me about that. Well, I mean, we're all licensed in Texas and none of us are licensed outside of Texas except for Faulkner. Okay. I mean, Jim, don't you agree? I think our focus is on clients who have Texas legal issues. Yes. Okay. Well, but but for the mediation service, maybe not, right? And for the arbitration, we can do we can do the arbitration anywhere, including internationally now. But that's maybe getting far afield. Yeah. But all federal. I mean, arguably. Well, I'll shut up. No, no, no. Keep talking. Keep talking. I, I think, you know, we are, most all of us are licensed in Michigan, in, in fe federal courts. You can be licensed in different federal, even if you are not admitted to practice in that particular state. So all of us are licensed in, in Michigan. Okay. As well as Jim and Richard in in partially myself in uh, the Federal Court of Claims. Okay. Jim, I think we should leave the licensing focused on being licensed in Texas, though, although I don't think it necessarily needs to be showcased on the site. Well, in my own profile, I have a list of all the courts I'm licensed in, and I think that should, and we're all licensed in a lot of different areas, so I think that should be where that is. Yeah, but I, in I terms agree. of the practice itself, I mean, obviously our, our Focus is going to be North Texas and East Texas because of the Lamar County office. Right, Josh? I mean, you were willing to even go out to Texarkana when you had to. Oh, sure. Houston. And, we, and even Houston. Okay. And we've had yeah, a lot of cases. Why we need to. I just got a new case today that's in Houston. Perfect. Okay. Let me, I'm going to go down to the footer and I'm just going to put this as notes down here because I don't want to lose that. 
Okay, so if we were to say serving Texas residents and business owners, does that sound right? Yes. Okay. And <coughs> right now we just have a phone number at the very top. I need a phrase. Mm -hmm. um, what What do you guys say? Do you guys say? Um, do you have a complimentary consultation or contact us for a consultation or an initial evaluation? What is your language behind that? I would say contact us for a, what, Jim, a free initial consultation? Yeah. I just started charging my probate clients to weed them out a hundred bucks for the consultations. So I don't know if that matters. So and then we can leave. Say, contact us contact. For, uh, for a consultation. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Perfect. I'll do that. Or just contact us. No, I think initial consultation is a good phrase. Okay. All right, I like that. Now we also, you guys, uh, who or how many of you are agreeing to produce content for the website somewhat regularly? I think we all can to some degree. I mean, it, uh, you know, frankly, I think that's your expertise and what I'd like to hear from you, Jen, is, you know, what, what do we need to be doing? Well, um, let, let's come back to that. Let me, um, I'll put this note on here for now. And then at the end, we'll do a wrap up. We'll talk a little bit about search engine optimization and social media marketing. And that will also include content. Cool. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Um, Next thing. So I think we're good on that. I'm, I'm debating on the social media networks, but I'll come back to that. I know I'll at least um, put them in a footer. Do you have, well, let me come back to that. Okay. So navigation, um, home, let's go through. Okay, so we have about. Are all of the same uh, attorneys still at the firm? From Jim to. Yeah. Okay, Charles? Yes. All right, perfect. Let me add this there. Charles? What's that? Charles Bennett? No, he's not a lawyer. He's a law firm. Okay. But everybody should not go ahead. But he should not be included in the attorney profiles. Okay. So we need to really break these out because we don't have attorney profiles in right now. So we want to separate these out. Let's um let me back out of here. What would you say, our staff? Yes. Okay. Uh attorney profiles. Got it? Okay. All right. Who would you put under the R staff section? Uh, Charles Bennett. And then he's our law clerk. And then Chrishell Anderson is our office manager. Um, what was the second one you said? Chrishell Anderson. Her first name is T R E. C H E L L E, Trishel Anderson, and Anderson's with an E N. All right. Jim, do we want to do uh, that? Do we want to put all the staff on there, or do we just want to list the attorneys? No, I think we should put the whole staff on there. Okay. Uh, Thomas because if people, if people are calling for some other reason other than to hire the lawyer, they're, we're going to want to talk to one of the staff that's appropriate. 
for example, if they're calling out a mediation, I won't talk to Pat. Yeah, that's fair. So, so the next person should be Pat Fioretti, who's sitting here. And then, and then Rosa. Rosa, Rosa Balderas is her name. It's actually a B A L D E R A E R A S. Okay. And under you already know this, Brittany, since she's at the front? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's put Brittany on there, too. Okay, Brittany? Yeah. It's B R I T N Y. Okay. Last name for Brittany? Hoosier. Hoosier. H-O-O-S-E-R. All right. Perfect. And Claire James? She's, She's an attorney. attorney. Attorney? All right. Elizabeth Swan? Also She's an attorney. attorney. Okay. Yeah, there's six attorneys. Swan. Hey, Jim, we also have Candace in Lamar County, if you think we should include her. O-R-T-H-A-N. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. U-M-E. And Shelly, S-K-E-E-N. So we have... Hey, Richard Faulkner on the attorneys. Richard Faulkner. Hi, Jim. Should we also include Tom Moore since he's of counsel, technically? Uh, yes. Yes. And what was the name? Thomas D. Moore. Thomas D. Moore. <coughs> he's he's on there as well right now. Oh yeah, he is on there, isn't he, Shelley? I forgot about that. I don't know if we have a picture of anybody yeah, he, listed. Yeah, his whole stuff's on there already. Okay. Perfect. And then right. you've got one more staff to add. And we need to add Candace to the staff. Josh, tell her about Candace. Candace is our Lamar County receptionist slash legal assistant. Okay. Perfect. And her name is Candace with a K-A-N-D-A-C-E. Last name is Maury, M O R E. Okay. So you'll you guys will just want to make sure that everybody that's got a profile on the website has a corresponding right board inside Basecamp with. Uh, Jennifer. Uh huh. Let, let me interrupt you for a second. We may want to add our accounts receivable person, who a lot of our clients will probably talk with. She sends out a welcome packet as well. Her name is Va Pam Borwork. Do we want to add her? Yeah. Um, it's P-A-M and then V-O-R-W-E-R-K. Okay. Yeah, I would absolutely add her. Yeah. Yeah, she talks to more of our clients than we do. So. Okay. It's <laughs> important. All right, very good. So what Mike will do is he will take each one of these names and he will create one right board per person and you're either going to post a link to their existing profile and just say approved or you guys are going to copy the content and you're going to modify the content and then post it. Good. All right. Now, um, next is going to be who we serve. And... Practice areas. Okay, and we're going to line this up with exactly what we came up with for. Okay. Nice. Um, all right, let's go through resources. 
No. What is this? No. Okay. Uh, Good. Okay. Fantastic. So we are going to move. We're not going to have a resources section. We'll have a blog that'll have categories. We're going to move these into the footer area. Terms and conditions. Disclaimer. Jennifer. Uh -huh. If we wanted to have a resources section where we posted articles that had been written by any of us, would that be a place for it? You will post all of your um, articles under blog, and you guys will have unlimited categories. And I'm going to teach you how to um, categorize, tag, and post content for your blog that gets you the best results. Sweet. All right. So this whole section is a be gone section. You will move the things that are um, footer elements, which is going to be disclaimers as well as terms and conditions to the footer. Um, do you guys have privacy policy disclosures or anything like that you want to add? I think that's already in uh, that uh, terms and conditions. Okay, perfect. All right, fantastic. And contact us. I'm loving it. This is very clean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're a little over on pages, but we're good. All right. Next thing next, let's go through the sliders. Um, is everybody okay with the main navigation for the site? Okay. With me. Okay. All right, perfect. And my SEO guys will like this as well. Um, all right, next for the slider, you guys are going to have a section at the very top of the website when they come to your home page. This thing right here, we're actually going to turn it into real estate that works for you. So we need to think of four um, of the most valuable uh, things that we can communicate to somebody when they come to this website. And this is, it's the most serious piece of the website is making sure when they get there, these three slides visually and based on the text and the call to action, um, properly communicate what we need them to feel and think and see when they get here. So I'll give you some ideas. Um, some of our clients will use the very first slide uh, as a, um, a welcome and they may have a welcome video that's kind of an overview of the organization or company or corporation. Um, some way we focus on more of a trust and reputation factor um, and some dig right into these are the service areas that we provide uh, uh, service in. Let me go pull up. Hang on a second. I just had a um, insurance company. I'll, I'll show you what we did for their slides, just so you're, you have kind of an idea for reference. So the first slider for this um, brokerage, he said, peace of mind. As your agent, we do the research, provide the answers, and act as an advocate when you need us. And the call to action is talk to your agent. The next one, I don't know if he's going to stay with this, but he has shift happens, learn about government and state regulations, changes that can affect you and your business. And the next one, yes, save money through a comprehensive review of your personal home, auto, medical, and commercial needs. We can customize a complete solution that saves you time and money and headaches. Get started today. So that's kind of an idea, and it's going to cover this area up here. If you were to pick out the top three things you think are most important to communicate uh, to a new prospect that just lands on your site about your firm, what would that be? Cost-effective cost expertise or something. I mean, I think we're cost-effective and I think we've got some heavy-duty expertise. Okay. Keep throwing out ideas. 
and we'll weed through them. Josh? Um, I mean, I think, I, I think you can, um, I think we should maybe come up with something about trust. You know, I, 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 yeah. I don't know. Again, I'm not that creative, but, you know, something about... <laughs> That's why you're a huh. attorney. I'm just kidding. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I know my weaknesses. <laughs> um... But I think, you know, I think something about being able to trust us would be appropriate there. I mean, I, I think that's what people want to know from their lawyer is that, you know, it's somebody who's going to work for them or, or you know, be on their side. Maybe that's what you say, you know. Okay. Maybe we should change our tagline to what Jim said earlier, which is, we'll be your lawyers until you die. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, keep talking. Tell me more. I mean, Jim, what do you think? What 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 attributes like that do you think people think of immediately when they think of us? I think that they get well. There's an experience element too. I mean, obviously, as a gray-haired beard among us, among us, I you know we've been around a while. Even you've been around a while now. How long? So I, I think people think of us as having experience that's that's, that's helpful to them. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's absolutely true. I think, too, the fact that you can actually talk to us is huge, that you can get to the actual attorneys in the firm, which creates that trust or facilitates it, maybe. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking, Jen, and I'll throw this out there and you may, you may get totally cheesy, but I was thinking at one point we were, we were thinking about maybe doing some newspaper, uh, advertising in, in Lamar County, which, cause people there actually still take the newspaper and read it. Um, and I thought it might be fun to do some ads that feature profiles of us and sort of play on the practice areas that we do, um, for instance, with me, you know, I have a tagline that, that you know, that says BF, BFSN, you know, family period law period, you know, and do some kind of write-up about the fact that, you know, we, we focus on helping people keep their families together. I mean, family lawyers by their nature usually, you know, help families come apart. But there's an element of that that I think we're very good at, which is helping people get through, you know, sort of the, the nasty part of it. Uh, if you read my profile, I think it's, you know, I think it's absolutely accurate, and I think people have actually come to me because of it, and that is that, you know, divorce is sort of a process. You know, you've got to sort of work through some of those emotions, and then, you know, you eventually get to an understanding that, you know, this is going to happen, and this is probably the, the likely outcome of it. You know, I was thinking for Jim, especially, you know, uh, you could do, you know, civil litigation and focus on a uh, play on words for civil, because I think Jim is very good at, you know, distilling down the issues in litigation without making it hostile. You know, I, I, I very often have seen Jim pick up the phone and talk to his opposing counsel, you know, like they're friends, because Jim's been in the community for so long, people know and respect him, you know, and with Shelly even. You know, I was thinking you could do something with wills, you know, and trust, and and you know, a play on the word trust there, because I think people, I think people get that sense from Shelley that you know, when they sit down and talk to her, they, you know, they they can trust what she's saying because she, you know, I think she really invests in those clients. Um, you know, so that's just sort of a, an idea that I had, and when we were thinking about sort of what, you know, what sort of things we would do, if that's helpful at all. Okay, very, very, very good. Absolutely. Jim, when um, didn't you guys start the practice? How long has it been? Well, this this firm has been in existence since 2008. Okay. And it was a about to several predecessor firms up, uh, that I've organized. Okay. But the start date was 1108 for the existing firm. And if uh, Richard Fogner and I started it, and then we added Shelley, and then we added Josh was my partner in another practice, and then I've lured him back. So uh, this is our second go around. 
and I also worked for Jim way back in the early days of my practice. I can't get rid of these people. They just keep following me around. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So if I was you know, that, you know, Jen, I think I think in fairness too, I think that's something that people really like about our firm is I like I think they like the fact that at you know, a couple or three different levels of practice we have had a long term relationship. You know, I was Jim's law clerk and Shelley, you know, was, was an associate in our firm at one point. So I mean we have a history, you know, that goes back to you know, twelve years ago and I think you know I think that's helpful to people, and I think that okay. that sort of closeness of, of our professional relationship comes through to people. Well, and, and Richard Fogner was long before he and I were partners. For 10 years, he was my office chair. So yeah. I had a relationship with every from everybody, all three of them, for at least 12 or 15 years just to begin with. So this has been, a, even though the practice is relatively new, we've been together a long time in various iterations. Jim, what could I say if I said experience over X number of years in, what does that look like? Just well, experience. Well, we've got two levels. I mean, my, I've been a lawyer for 38 years, and we, we have collectively been together in one form or another since at least, what, 2000. So, yep. Yep. You, Jennifer, you see a lot of firms now are saying, um, you know, that they've got X number of years experience and what they do is they add up all the number of years that each of the partners have been practicing law and then yeah. they say, oh, for a hundred years of... Right. <laughs> <laughs> I see that in a lot of businesses. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, well, if you add up myself, my father, and my grandpa, I am extremely experienced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. Cost effective experts is trust. We're on your side. Your lawyers for. Here's something, one more thought, not to screw up your train of thought, which I'm sure I am. If you, if you look at what kind of our target markets, we're, we're touching people's lives at their most basic levels, which I think would be um, their businesses and their their families and their lives in in death so the most significant aspects of your life would probably be you know your family uh, when somebody passes away and what you do for a living I mean I don't know what else there is really unless you're a huge cardier um, you said your business your family and your death uh, Or a loved one's death, you know. Okay, perfect. Any other thoughts that, you know, kind of soul for things that really pull your guys' hearts and what drives you and, and that you would want to communicate outside of some of the things that we've covered so far? Money. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we shouldn't say that, huh? Totally regret. The more money you have, the better we're going to like you. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. All right. So maybe on back on that same thing of business, you know, family and, and death, you know, it's the most significant aspects of somebody's life. Yeah, absolutely. And earlier, I screwed up your train of thought, so I apologize. No, you're good. I that that's actually we just finished a slide. One, we have one. <laughs> so, good job, good job. Okay. No, I I really like that. That makes a lot of sense, and it stands out. Okay. 
I'll um I'll continue playing with this area. Um, let's see here. Let me go through some homepage elements. Mm -hmm. Whiteboards are up. All right, you guys. Um, let me go to the right boards real quick. I'm just gonna click. Here are all your profiles. So we've got everything set in there. Mike's got it ready for you. Um, I'll notice when you're done when I start seeing your guys' names pop in here. Okay. Um, the other thing to the other thing to really concentrate on um, when it comes to content over the next week is going to be any of the pages that we've outlined here. These are your primary um, pages for the site. I'll go make a, uh, a document that has these, a right board. Let me just grab these. Any additional pages that uh, are not in here, Navigation sitemap outline. You're just going to want to make sure that you have the content for these uh, up on the uh, right board. Just one more thought while I'm thinking about it. Since we're off all mediators, and then Richard and I are arbitrators, and certainly Jim could be as well as well as Josh. Maybe maybe that is an alternative dispute resolution is maybe a better moniker for that. I'm just throwing that out there now that I sit here and think, but I'm not sure. Just a thought. I like that. Well, actually. Yeah, alternative dispute resolution is a term that encompasses both mediation and arbitration. Okay. All right. All right, I like that. Um, now we're gonna go through, this is gonna be the elements of your homepage. Um, the way a homepage of a website works is this is supposed to be uh, real estate. So if you think of this as a shopping mall, we've gotta be able to optimize every element of the homepage of the website so that it works for you. Um, things that we won't do, so, um, this content, this would be more like an about us page. What we need is when someone gets to the site, they instantly know that they're, um, at the right place and, um, you have exactly what they need. And so I've got the two areas broken down who we serve and, uh, our practice areas. Do you guys have um, any professional video, any professional photography, any um, client testimonials that we could feature on the website? We've got client testimonials. Okay. In addition to, what, in addition to what's already there, we have several others. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. This little widget. Okay, I'm going to make this pretty. And um, how do they have this? What is this? So these don't work. Well, not really. <laughs> All right, I got you. So I'm gonna have a section called what our clients are saying. Um, this is gonna be a rotator. It'll be, be very prominent. I wanna make sure people have it. Now, would you like to put a letter from um, our founders, from the president, from the owner, from, uh, Chief Counsel, talk to me about, would you, would you want a section on here that has a short introduction and letter on the homepage? Short, not as long as what's on there now. I don't know. I, give me your thought on that. Why, why would you suggest that we do or do not do that? Just a small element of text that you can give a, um, a very pointed, uh, overview of who you are, what you do, how you do it, and who you serve. Now, you, you absolutely do not need to have it, but it's an option if you want, where you actually have text on the page, because we're going to make this uh, much more graphic-oriented than text-oriented. Right. 
I mean, I don't think it could hurt us to have Jim or somebody put a little blurb, right? It could even be like a, our creed. So it doesn't have to be from somebody. It could be um, our philosophy, our creed, our mission, our value proposition. Do you have anything written that's just a really well-written piece that would be a benefit to put on the homepage? We don't. I don't know that we do, but we could probably come up with something probably pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Are you thinking like two sentences? Well, let me let me um give you an option. You could do that, or if you guys um, want to trade me, I'll send my video production guy over to your location, have him film a welcome video for your site. The only thing I would ask from you is uh, you guys give me a really good testimonial video that I can use in our marketing things. And you could swap that out for a video instead of content. Yeah. I like a video. Yeah, I like that. All right. So we're going to go left welcome video and right what our clients are saying. Perfect. And listen, I think if you if you think it's helpful, Jen, I think we have clients who would also, you know, do little video testimonials for us. Awesome. That's so we have a full service video production team. If you haven't seen our work, you absolutely can. You can go to our Pinterest account or any of our YouTube channels. Um, if you decide you want to do video, my recommendation is do it right versus um yeah. Uh, versus you guys taking kind of an ad hoc approach. So this is just a sample. But this is at an event, so it's a little different. Hello? Um, so this is... A, I know. Hello? Can you hear? Was that your suggested theme music for our side? No, not exactly. So this kind of gives you an idea, though. You just want it professionally done. If you guys can get a group of clients over to your office in one shot, then we can do a video production day, a half day over there, and get them all done in one deal. Yeah, I think we could do that for sure. Okay, sounds good. And we do that all the time. So this is one um, Let's see here. We have... Tons and tons and tons and tons of video. Okay. All right. Perfect. So we'll do that. Um, the way I look at video, just on a side note, you guys, is is it's my way out. I don't uh, care to say the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, which is in any organization or any company, it's what you do all day in order to be able to present your message. Um, the more uh, duplications or replicas you have of your message from an educational standpoint, sales presentation standpoint, frequently asked questions, operational or onboarding things that you have to do, anything that you do that you find is a duplicate process, um, redundant, um, you know, over time, your goal as a marketer of your products and services is to uh, figure out how you can remove yourself from the equation so you can make more money, increase your revenue and overall profits with less effort. Um, the more you digitize, the more articles you put in place inside your website, um, the more automated you become from a social media marketing standpoint, the more digital versions of your message, your presentation. I mean, you guys right now, just on this call, I could hand pick 30 different things I would like to see in a video that are important. I mean, Shelly, even just the section when you're talking about, we touch people's lives at their most basic and significant areas your business, your family, your, your loved ones, your death. We plan on being here the, the, the beginning, the middle, and the end. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a significant statement. And so it's one thing when that content is on a page. It's another thing when that content, they can not only read it, but they can see, they can hear, they can, they can read it. And now you're, you're starting to um, obviously attract more senses as far as people's um, 
response to whatever that content is. And then of course, from a, that's, that's my personal version on the technical side, video is going to be one of the highest leverage assets you can create over time. Awesome. I didn't, I didn't hear that last part, Jen. What did you say? Um, I said that video and your blog content are going to be the two highest leverage assets you guys can create over time. They're the only things that are permanent gotcha. that have compounding impacts. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, next section, calls to actions. So let's talk about conversions. Right now we have this giant box that just says contact us. I want to speak to individuals. Um, businesses and so forth. What are the call to action forms that you would want to see on your on your site other than just contact us? So, and we also we already have a um, call for a free consultation. Uh, I explain that to me, Jen. I, I'm not sure I understand what you're asking. So, if you guys wanted to, well, first, let me back up. Do you guys have a CRM system that tracks all your leads and opportunities that come to you? Referrals or web or search or social? We don't. Yes, we do. We get a report every week from lawyers.com. Okay. So, okay. That's a little well, different. And I, I ask people in initial consultations. But I don't have any formal compilation of that information. Okay. I do too. I do what Josh does. All right. Um, there are so so this isn't this isn't part of this, but I'd I'd like to come back to it at some point. We need to visit about how you guys are organizing your data. Um, especially when you start marketing using things that actually work because the goal would be is that you reduce the amount of effort and, ex and investments that you spend on things that don't produce the results you want and you increase the amount of effort and investments on the things that produce the results you want. You keep whatever you keep doing more of, you're going to get more of, right? Um, from a marketing standpoint, the amount of data that I'm going to have that we're going to be talking about when it comes to our quarterly meetings and going over where we're at is going to be um, really wrapped around how much traffic do we have to the site, how many fans do we have like in your, um, you know, your social media accounts, how many followers, how much reach do we have when we post uh, a piece of content, how many people are seeing it and so forth. Where we need to get to is we've got to get to the point where the conversations we're having is um, out of all of the activities, the content, the blogs, the video, the social media posts and so forth that we're putting out there, what are the things that are driving leads? Um, what percent of those leads are converting to opportunities? What percent of those opportunities are converting to closed business? And so um, it's okay starting with this, with just these generic web forms, but my guess is you guys are going to want to be more sophisticated about how you're tracking that and also more, um, more automated, more centralized. We can create, um, you know, a, a CRM system that's completely integrated with all of your marketing activities with each one of you having your own workspace, your own leads, you know where they came from, you know what they're interested in, um, and you can start tracking uh, the, the percent of qualified opportunities. Because what we don't want to do is generate a ton of traffic for leads and opportunities who aren't qualified. That's just going to take up more of your time. Agreed. Okay. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> so, okay. I know they're long-winded, too. <laughs> All right, so we didn't know anything about that. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought it was succinct and well said. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Let's do. I'm gonna start off by having a call to action for each one of um, these particular areas. Um. So we're gonna have. Complimentary consultation. Who is providing complimentary consultations for which areas? I what, think. What you you mean? Which lawyers consult on which practice areas? So, for these, for individual and family, are we doing complimentary consultation? Is or is that a paid consultation? No, I think most of the family clients are, are complimentary. Okay. All right. Um, seniors and long term. I'm I'm trying to weed out all of the 
people just trying to get some free legal advice. So I'm I'm just doing consultations, and I charge a you know just a hundred bucks for an hour, which is you know nothing. Okay. Business and commercial. Those are complimentary. All right. Legal and professional. Yeah, those, those are all. Everything else we do is complimentary. The only ones that charge is the one Shelly just told you about. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, do you guys have any websites that you love? And if so, um, what are they? Um, and if you don't, I'll delete this and move on, and we'll provide you the one you love the best. Well, what what is the purpose of this? Is is this a link that we might refer people to, or what? No, and this would be an idea for our design team and development team conceptually to get ideas from. Oh, 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 oh okay. Josh, are you? Do you know of any that you really like? Uh, I think Shackleford's side is pretty good. Have you? Seen, they just retooled. Have you seen the new one? Um, yeah, I think I have. So is it just Shackleford.com now? I or think so. Shackloft? Try it. You're in the Shackloft. right place. It is. Shackleford. It is Shackloft. Yeah, you were right in the right place, Jennifer. It's Shackleford, Melton, and McKinley. Okay. I'm going to get off. Anyone else? Um, Pat says Goins, G O I N S. That's my Underwood. client. That's my client. <laughs> we built. I, that. I was gonna say that is, that is a good site, though. Ducl dot com. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they um, you know, they're shutting down. I heard that. Everything, like the whole. I thought that. I thought that was just gossip, though. No, everything. Oh they're keeping their site up for a year, but they are completely dismantling everything. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's not because of that damn website, is it? <laughs> you want their site? No. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> this site. That's nice. It was a beast. Now they've moved all their stuff off the front and just put their contacts on there. They've done a lot of change wow. on here, I can tell. Huh. Um, this is what we did for their um, their partner listing. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'll drop that on there. All right. Oops. Now, I have, this website is actually old. This is probably three years old, so I would not do the same thing again. This is one we built. This was a, um, an individual, so it wasn't a, um, a firm with multiple attorneys. <clears throat> um, and then I have a bunch of them that we built that I would never show you because they won't replace their site, and they're like three years old, which to me is like wearing really horrible bell bottoms with curtains or something. <laughs> I like it. Bell bottoms are coming back in, but I know that's why I had to throw in that out of curtains. Yeah. I thought about it after I was halfway through the statement. <laughs> okay, all right, we're good. Um, do you guys have stock images or professional photography you want to provide us? No. No. Okay. We we need new. Okay. Well, um, if you want, I could send. Well, I could either come do it myself in between trips, or when I have the videographer come out, I could have him uh, take some photos of you guys and, and or send a photographer if you want. That sounds fun. Okay. We definitely need new pictures of us. Yeah, we, we've never liked the photography of the old site. All right. Um, let me 
Let me um, just visit with them and see what we can do. Maybe uh, we can head over. Stock images, maybe you'd want to have like a, you know, an example of a divorce decree or a will or uh, I'm not sure, I'm just thinking out loud. And I always like courthouses and flags and the Constitution. Well, and guys, maybe, maybe as for us and our headshots, I mean, I've got a fairly decent camera. We can just have a dress that day, and I'll come out there and try to shoot some, and then, Jen, you can tell us if you like them or not. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I have – I'm going to – Mike may reach out to you guys. If there's any way I can work in a trip over to your office before we head to Costa Rica, then I'll do that. That way we've got some good graphics, and I'm more comfortable knowing if I take the photography. So um, okay. if, if you see a message from um, Michael Hicklin, that's what that will be about. Okay. Okay. And he also, he's here with me. He happens to be over your guys' social media project. So once we kick that off, then um, you'll be communicating a lot with him on the social media side. We'll have two more project um, calls related to search engine optimization and social media marketing. But I want to get the infrastructure set up um, first. Okay. Do you guys have your logo in um, a higher resolution file, the original EPS or PSD files? Uh, I can send you the original zip file. I don't know what all I have. Okay. And Jennifer, I can tell you that Pat, in her smartness, just told me every lawyer has what I listed off as cool images. So to the extent that we're, that does not separate us from another lawyer on whatever you suggest. <laughs> All right. A lot of times when I get to these things about other people's sites and whatnot, I usually just delete the section. I don't even give my own designers advice because I, I just like seeing what they come up with. Okay. Um, and I would say 99% of the time, I love it on the very first shot. Every once in a while, I'm like, nah, scratch it. Okay, um, so will you do me a favor, will you upload the logos, the zip file you have, right into the files section. So just go to files in Basecamp and click on upload file. Sure. Pat, do you have access to that? Yeah, do you mean the logo, Josh? Yeah, yeah, or Shelly, can you do it just because I'm, I'm not in the office? I'll have Pat do it tomorrow. Okay. Do, do you, uh, does she know where the logo is? I don't know that I know where it is. It's just a, it's just a zip, uh, uh, zip file that says, I think, final logo. Yeah, well, where is it? I think it's under firm business, under logos. Okay. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Do you guys have anything, before I write that, anything that you really like about your current site? That it's going away. <laughs> well, but let's be clear, the substance of it, we all wrote, we wrote it, and other than updating it, it largely says what we need said. And, and the fact that we're, we're going to import a lot of that stuff uh, is fine with us. I mean... We don't need to reinvent the wheel. A lot of a lot of the text of the current site we like. It's just the design of it. We're not crazy about it anymore. We never liked photography. Okay, excellent. And and of course, it's three years old, so it's like bell bottoms, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Here, here's something else, Jennifer. Is each one of us is uh, has access to the, some of the different organizations or some of the different work that we've done. We have access to logos that are specific to those organizations that show us as an outstanding advocate for whatever it might be. Is that something that you would want us to provide to you that might you could also put on our website in appropriate places? Yeah, absolutely. I would throw that into the right boards as well and any files okay. you have. <laughs> All right, um, so for the footer, we're going to have licensing information, um, location. Okay, so let me go through 
and get this down. So in the footer section, we're going to go left. It's going to be um, licensing, location, phone, email, uh, logo, social links. <clears throat> Do you guys think you want to have a social media feed um, like these on the front of the site, or do you just want links for people to be able to go to directly to the social platforms? Uh, I think probably links, but okay. and Josh can't see it. I'm gonna. What do you think, Jim? I don't care. Jim says he do, he doesn't care. I mean, we, that would presume that we actually have stuff up on Facebook and Twitter. We're, um, we are going to make sure that happens. <laughs> I, I was going to say something tells me that you're you're going to be uh, riding riding us a little bit on that. Yeah, that that's yes. But Mike, that will not be me. But Mike's over here nodding his head fiercely. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Mike, who's over our SEO and social media teams, is 25 year military retired. So good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting us know that ahead of time. No problem. <laughs> I say yes, sir, a lot. Okay. That, that's just good manners. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, but you guys, you guys will really be amazed. Every, you know, it's taken me a long time to get to the point where every team member. I have the same thought in my heart about they are just everyone is extremely dedicated extremely good in their particular area um, they focus on mastery level work in their own individual areas and communication is off the chart they're just I'm, I'm really really pleased and it's taken a lot of wee whacking to get to here over the last decade so you'll you'll love it congratulations that's awesome thank you we're always working at it. Everybody's you. You'll be amazed. You'll form some really good relationships with everyone on the team. Good. All right. Um, so, my taskmaster on my left also said, "Don't forget." I guess I don't know if we're supposed to talk about the other website today as well or not. But she she just uh, kind of Remind reminder we need to get that resolved too. So you guys, we have a couple ways to do that. Um, first, I can take the design brief that we just went through and you guys can amongst yourselves walk through the process and you can fill it out and then we can get on the phone and we can review it together. Or we can go through the same process we just went through and I can help guide you through that process. Either one is totally okay with me. Pat, Pat says she thinks so that we ought to do it on the phone and, and get Richard in here as well. Okay. Yeah, because Richard and I are the primary movers in that. And so the two of us and Pat probably need to get on the phone with you and, and do that. Yeah, I think I think that's probably fair, and I think I'd like to be involved in that too. Okay, good stuff. Let me um let me give you Pat. Let me give you Mike's number, and you can coordinate with Mike on uh, timing for it. Okay. And, and let me just say that the sooner the better on this because we're trying to get the program started in another month or so. And so the sooner we get the website organized, the sooner we can do marketing for it. All right. Well, let me, uh, let's go look now. So our options are going to be uh, slightly limited, but we have, how is tomorrow at 3 and tomorrow at 1? Friday at tomorrow. Let me see. Three, three and one. Three and one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three and one. I have tomorrow uh, at three and tomorrow at one o'clock. Uh, tomorrow at three is fine. Tomorrow at three. I, I will be around, but I'll have to let you let talk to Jim and Richard. I got a mediation tomorrow. If I get done soon enough, I'll try to show up. All right, Shelly, we'll record that for you too, and you can always provide oh. additional feedback as well. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, Pat, you can work out the details with her. Yeah, Pat, you and Mike can um, um, get all the logins and uh, go to meeting links and whatnot. 
Okay, you guys, um, the footer area I have on the left-hand side, licensing, location, phone, email, logo, social links. I'm going to say all uh, In the center of the um, footer, I and because the footer is important because this is on every single page on the entire website, so I have sign up for a free consultation, which is another lead form. Um, are you guys going to be doing or are you doing any type of email marketing using a newsletter system? No. It's, it's in the works. All right. We're going to go for it. Push, push. Right, right Josh? Yes. <laughs> um, when you get to that point, any anything you want to do that has to do with marketing or technology, please always throw it over the fence to me and let me give you a second opinion on it. I don't care if it's advertising or it's doing a newsletter and I will teach you or at least provide some insights on the most effective and efficient way um, to be able to leverage your time and get it done. So a lot of times that has to do with signing up for free open source applications. There's lots of things to do. And I mean anything, CRM integrations, um, scanning and file management systems, anything related to technology, please let us be a, a resource to help provide guidance on that. Okay, Pat, Pat has a question. Okay. Do you want us to find someone like Constant Contact or do you take care of all that type of thing with a um, newsletter? Well, we're, you guys are not subscribed. We do have a writer and we have people that can do newsletters for you. So so a newsletter is going to break down into a few different elements. One, you're going to sign up for a piece of technology. If you're just getting started, the best thing you can do is sign up for MailChimp.com, M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P.com, and you can get a free account up to so many uh, addresses. We can integrate that into your website. The second thing we can do is once your website's done, we can do a custom designed newsletter template that allows you to have this really professional uh, template for your newsletter. And the third thing we can do is we can have um, our team be responsible for taking your blog posts, which this is the process for a newsletter is always create a blog post, you take the image, the title, an excerpt, and a link that says read more, and that's what translates to a newsletter. So the goal of a newsletter is only one purpose, to drive them back to a landing page. That landing page needs to be set up with content, a call to action for conversions. Just remember, everything you do going forward is going to be connect, engage, and convert. That's our philosophy. Right. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, I also, let me, while I have you, I want you to look at three different platforms. Um, the first one is Mothernode. This is for a larger organization, a minimum of five uh, resources. I think it's $60 per seat per month. Um, but you need a CRM system that does lead management and that has lead capture forms that are embeddable in social, mobile, uh, video and web. That's This is one option. And this actually built into an entire ERP, so it's a much more scalable platform. The other option is Podio. Podio is an open source application. And I'm logged in. This is, we use, uh, we have a, a Mothernode account and a Podio account. Um, but Podio allows you to track leads, opportunities, anything you want. This is an entirely open source, extremely configurable platform. But most importantly, up to five users is totally free and we can create unlimited web forms that we can integrate throughout your website to be able to capture leads and opportunity, know exactly where they came from and they all feed into a central database. Um, and then you can expand it from there into other things. Sweet. And third one, those are my top two. Uh, the third one is called VCITA, V-C-I-T-A. Um, to, to me, this is for more of an inexperienced small business owner, possibly a solopreneur. It's inexpensive. Um, back, let me back up. Podio is free for up to five users, $9 per month per user after that. Um, VCITA is uh, 
you can do online scheduling, client management, invoice and billing. I just, I don't think this is a great idea, but it, it is something that some people like because it's simple to make a web form and capture leads. Um, that sounds like your department. <laughs> can you, Jennifer, just because I, I can tell from looking at this and, and having learned a little bit, but not enough, can you please explain to the old people in the room what a CRM what, what that really is in maybe two minutes or less or one minute or less. Let me give you a shot. Let me um, log in really quick. Clock starts once I'm logged in. Okay. A CRM system is a customer relationship management system. So throughout every website, you have web forms. There's no point in you guys doing any marketing ever. I don't care if it's an advertisement, a radio ad, television ad, newspaper ad, magazine ad, sending out an email, sending out a newsletter, whatever campaign or marketing activity you have, you have to be focused on conversions um, and measuring the results of the campaign. So in a CRM system, you should have the ability to create a campaign. The campaign is able to create this is my fast version, a lead form. So for example, um, this lead form captures company name, what product can we help you with, all your contact information, uh, what's your website address, comments or questions. It captures all this information and I can embed this lead form. So there's lots of um, responses and auto replies and other marketing things built into it. But I can take this lead form and I can embed it onto a website anywhere on a website. This is the sole purpose of marketing is embedded lead forms. Everything else is hopefully somebody still likes to make a phone call, um, but you definitely want to utilize this. So under, for example, if I click on webinars, if somebody registers for a webinar, we get a lead. If somebody registers for a newsletter, we get a lead. If somebody registers for my radio show, we get a lead. Um, under forms, any form I would ever take from a client, social media access, uh, technical access, business evaluation profiles, design briefs, everything we're doing is a web form. All of this data goes into a central location. Every blog post, every social media account. So last, last little element. <clears throat> I'll go to my social media. I'm going to go to Jennifer Bagley. So on my social media profile, if somebody clicks on need help, schedule a consultation, it takes them to a lead form. I know every single lead that comes in from every marketing activity that I do. Same thing on all my YouTube channels. Every video I have online. Full pieces and some brain. Uh, every video I have online is designed to capture leads. It takes them to, these are all lead conversion pages. These are, everything you do this way is a digital permanent asset. The work you put into it today will work for, with you for life. The longer this stays online, uh, the more powerful this became. So this video went up one day ago and it's got 21 views and we haven't even marketed it yet. Awesome. Okay. Pretty neat, Josh, if you could see it. Well, it sounds cool. Now, if somebody fills this form out, just real quick, I'm totally over my minute and two. If somebody fills that form out, it goes into a lead system. I know where we are with every lead. And for us, we're in a different situation. I'm not hunting for business. I work, I have to work. I get so many leads and opportunities. I have a reseller program where uh, the majority of small web companies. Um, in our, our Metroplex in California and a couple other areas are actually were the fulfillment house for them. So you could go get a quote from three different web companies and no matter what you do, wind up with us because we're great, <laughs> because we're great lead generators. So the, we handpick who we want to work with. Everyone else we source out to one of our resellers, let them handle all the client interactions, and we just simply do the fulfillment. Wow. We're like an electronic pickpocket. <laughs> That's so cool. That's cool. Awesome. Like cool. Cool. Like okay. Okay. So that's that's phase two, my friends. 
I think it sounds cool. Now, if you can just make it learn it. Okay, okay. So, um, I'm getting a message here. Mike is on your Facebook page. By the way, we oh, need, no. oh, all of your Facebook pages. Okay, so <laughs> we need. Oh, a, I just got a friend request. Yes, you did. It's from yeah. everyone. So that's Mike. And he <laughs> usually, before we even have a client, he's all over and knows more about the client than I do. Um, you guys are going to want to make sure all your company profiles, you provide us with admin access to them. And Patty, you can work directly with Mike to get all that done. Just You want to make us an admin on everything that's a social media account. You guys can take an inventory of all the social media accounts that you have. And uh, whatever you don't have, we'll start working on getting those created. Only for the things that we think are priority and necessary right now. And Josh, Mike said thank you for the friend request. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> tell him he could tell me himself on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I love it. Um, so you guys, we're we're pretty much done with this. The best thing I can tell you, you know, we're you're starting off with just the basics. So let's get the basics done, and let's keep talking about how we can we can continue to advance and elevate. Um, we have a program called the 12 step roadmap to accelerate our results and right now you guys we're working on step one two and three with you so where we need to get is we need to get to four through 12 and we need to work on that over time so we need to prioritize different activities and slowly work on um, building you guys a marketing um, arsenal that allows you to move very very fast very fluid make uh, marketing decisions as well as uh, get results very quickly in everything that you do and that takes time and some organizations but let's get the basics in place uh, we do a webinar every week and you can access you can register first off you should go register for the webinars you can do that here just click on webinars you can access uh, breakout sessions and archives and so forth I'll probably handpick certain ones I think are good for you to watch so you don't have to spend a ton of time but if you're really into all this marketing stuff um, all the videos are here and you can access anything from strategy content web search social mobile everything here um, the other thing is the more interactive you guys are with myself and our team as you get to know everyone in a digital standpoint especially on Facebook um, the more additional value and benefits you will receive far above uh, the program that you guys subscribe to because that's that's really where they're able to make a lot of introductions you stay top of mind with us plus you learn everything we teach we preach we do everything we do in our business will work in your business as well cool okay I like it awesome uh, also, I'm going to have Kathy touch base with you guys. I want to get you on our radio show and talk about the redesign of your website and the launch. So if you're up and, and willing and ready for that, um, let's get that going here in the next week or so, too. That's awesome. Cool. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes please. Oh. All right. Other than that, um, I'm going to Costa Rica with Michael and Kathy, and we're leaving on 13. the 13th. And we get back on the 28th, so we'll be available and working, but we might have intermittent issues with email if we decide to go zip lining in the jungle or I don't know. Well, y'all go and have fun, and I appreciate y'all taking the time to talk to us and putting up with us, at least with me, remotely. No, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you trusting us. I know this is a big decision to pick who you're going to um, partner with for this, so thank you so much for your trust. We will make sure and take extremely good care of you. Hey, we're excited about it. Thank y'all. Awesome. Wait a minute. Pat has a quick question. All right. Shoot. Can I give me Michael's phone number? Michael's phone number is 469-404-4813. Thank you. Uh, Pat, do me a favor. Send me a text message, too, so I have it. Okay. 972-342-5926. Thank you. Hey, thank you all. Travel safely. Awesome. And you guys should have the go-to meeting for our next appointment inside your email boxes. If you'll accept those, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye -bye. Good Bye -bye. luck on the mediation, Josh. <laughs> good luck, Josh. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>